episode number nine. We have King Riley here, ready to go on three lovely dates with some beautiful ladies. Thank you to our premier sponsor, Chill Botanicals. Let's have an awesome night. What's up, everyone? I'm Riley. I'm 23 from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm here on the Date Night Podcast to meet some three awesome ladies, let's hope. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody, looking forward to having a good time with everyone. Uh, a little bit about myself, I'm super into traveling, sports, working out, and just having a great time with family and friends, and uh, looking to keep it pretty chill tonight, have some fun, have some exciting conversations, and you know, just see what comes from it. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to First Draft, everybody. My name is T-Flo, your host, and I have King Riley with me here this evening. Hello, Riley. How's it going? I'm excited to be here. I know. Woo! Let's give some hype for Riley. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Riley, you did bring a crowd. We actually sold out of headphones, so everybody Amazing. give a round of applause. Amazing. That's we awesome. We probably have over 200 people here for you tonight. That's so. fantastic. Okay, so before we get started, I always like to ask a little bit about some dating experience. So how has your dating experience been in Minneapolis recently? Are you a person that goes on apps? Are you like to meet ladies out at the bar? Do you like to dabble with coworkers? <laughs> Which one are? <laughs> uh, all right, well, wow, starting off hot. Um, starting off hot. I'd say my dating experience in Minneapolis has been actually pretty good. Good. Um, you know, haven't gone on any bad dates, and we'll go on three great dates tonight. I'm um, looking forward to that, and other than that, I'm on Hinge, Okay. but uh, don't check it as much as I should, okay. honestly. What's the point of having um, it then? Boredom? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I'd say <laughs> I have it just because, you know, I mean, I'm looking for that okay. Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively type stuff. Oh, so. okay. Oh, well, yeah. that's... All right, maybe we'll be able to find that tonight. Let's hope so. Okay, but tell me about this never been on a bad date. Because I feel like most people would say that they have been on a bad date, especially if you're active on Hinge and actually <laughs> follow through with going on a date. Yeah, uh, so honestly, it's... <laughs> it's it's uh, I'd say, like, I've never been on a bad date, meaning, like, it's been all, you know, good positive. conversations, all positive. It's been, like, you know, fun times. I like to keep it fun. We'll have a fun time, and kind of looking for the same thing tonight you know keep it loose keep it light um just well, have fun yeah you, know? you get to date in front of an audience i bet you've never that, done that before uh, that's a first it is a this first is, uh, yeah and also i just want to give a shout out to all my friends for coming out here i love all you guys so much you guys are amazing and i really appreciate all of you more than you know so thank you oh i will say that's pretty awesome that you have like hype squad with oh you. my gosh you see the comments no I on, on the on the post, I just exposed myself. I actually haven't looked at the comments oh, yet, but I okay, will have okay. to. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, what kind of girl are you looking for? What's your type? Yeah, uh, I'd say someone who can definitely, you know, have a lot of fun. Okay. Take a lot of sarcasm because it's going to be a good time, fun time. Um, and I'm looking, you know, for someone who's just kind of that, you know, get along with my family, get along with my friends. Because obviously, as you can see, my friends here, they're all amazing. And if you can get along with them, you're rolling. Okay. What if you can't get along with your mom? Is that a done deal? Oh yeah, my mom's everything. Oh, my mom we got a mama's everything. boy over here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hi, mom. By the way, so <laughs> say hi. Um, but yeah, no, she's everything to me, and you gotta impress her too. But she's like so awesome. Easy. So, it's so easy. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. that's enough of us. All right. I think we're gonna start kicking it off with our first date. So you're gonna have ten oh, minutes. All right. <laughs> ten minutes goes by pretty quick. So make sure you ask all the things you want to get because it will fly by. Got so, it. All right. Let's get right, rolling. Let's bring our first date on up. Hi. I'm Katrina, I'm 25, I'm from Chevy Chase, Maryland, right outside Washington, D.C. A fun fact about me is that at every professional sporting event I've ever been to, I've made it on the Jumbotron. As far as dating goes, I've been single for two years, really haven't met anyone that I've tried with well, so I thought, what better way to meet another extrovert by going on a live dating podcast. Really excited to meet Riley and kind of just kick it off. All right, everybody, we are live with our first date here. We have Katrina. Hello, Katrina. Hey, Katrina, how's it going? <laughs> Let's okay. give some hype for Katrina. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Katrina, take it away. All right, so hi. Hi. I'm Katrina. I'm Riley, nice to meet you. <sighs> they don't call me Category 5 for nothing. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Yeah, it's uh, I'm a natural disaster for a reason. Oh, so. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, it's what the legends are written about. Got but. it. Okay, and what makes you a natural disaster? 
uh, I feel like I'm loud. I'm in the middle of everything, and I got an attitude. Oh, God. It's like a whole tornado rolling through. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Or a hurricane. Or a hurricane. Or a hurricane. Bring in the rain, too. A little bit. I could say I'm emotional. All sure. Right. Why not? Right. I'm okay. a Pisces. So I cry. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we elaborate on just everything that you went over? Like, what you bring to the table and all of that? What do I bring to the table? So... I personally would describe myself as a badass. I'm super okay. confident. Okay. I have a great career. I have a ton of friends. I love my life, honestly. Awesome. I kind of have it all down packed, and I'm just looking for my better half. Ooh, Ooh. okay. You got your shit together. I feel like I'm rhyming a lot, and wow. I don't really know what that's You should happening. be a rapper. That's what your new career should be. <laughs> Holy crap. Maybe. Maybe that's on the <laughs> that's that's awesome. deck. That is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Perfect. So what do you do for a living, then, if you're passionate about your career? Yeah, I do medical device sales. Got it. So, uh, okay. yes, it's a cool job. So does my mom. Oh! Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. She does, wait. too. Can we so talk careful. about where for both? Oh, God. I don't want to be a competitor. What if I'm selling against her next week? She might well, not we, like you. Oh, God. Wait, is her name Wendy? <laughs> what was that? Is her name Wendy? No. Oh, thank her God. Her name's not Wendy. Oh. That's my competitor. I'm really stressed out about oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, good. Um, yeah, it's not Wendy. We're, yeah. all, we're, we're doing good so far. Okay. So I sell to labor and delivery in the NICU care areas. Got it. So I sell capital equipment there. Amazing. It's really wow. cool. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. I like, I like to think it's cool. Can we hear what company is for you and your mom? Uh-oh. I can go first. We're good. All right, go do it. Yeah. I work for the general, uh, GE Healthcare. Got it. My yep. mom is a uh, proud Medtronic employee. <gasps> Woohoo! Yep. Any Medtronic employees out there? <laughs> Anybody? Yes. Got a few. We got one. We got I a see. few. Okay. I'm okay. not gonna say I'm jealous, but. Oh, hey, maybe she can get me the job. Yeah. Might have to be you your mom. Her enough. She Ooh. might. Yeah. She's got connections. She's. she's oh yeah. Like, she's she's, she's the most badass woman on the planet. That's like, a wonderful I love my mom. way. Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Yeah. Literally, like. She is my role model. She's everything. She's so hardworking, so like dedicated just for everything. And oh, she's awesome. Mom, oh I'm not just saying this to suck up. I promise. Are you the favorite <laughs> of hers? Oh hell no, no <laughs> okay. way, no way. You're no, who? It oh, my little brother for sure. See, I got in all the trouble growing up. Ditto. And my little brother just like learned. Okay. And like all his parent-teacher conferences, amazing. All mm -hmm. mine were like, yeah, we moved Riley to the front again. <laughs> Like, literally every single one of them. So, like, oh, he's a good funny. kid, for sure. How many siblings do you have? Just him. Just, just, little, him. just my little best friend. Yep. Oh, that's wholesome. <laughs> that's very wholesome. Wow, I appreciate so that. Directly competing. How many siblings do you have? I have an older brother, younger sister. Got it. You're pretty close? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, we're all Irish twins, so that says You're something. Irish? Yeah, um, not Irish. Oh, I oh do. my gosh. I was going to say, I was like... Are you Irish? Extremely. So, wow. Birthday's on St. Patrick's Day, just letting you know. Shut up. Not kidding. I have a thing that every person I've dated is a Scotch Irish. Whoa. So it's in uh -oh. your favor. Wait. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. It's just, it's a weird, um, you try to find parallels in the people you date, right? Okay. And the one that like is just steadfast is Irish. And I don't know why. That's Us why. Irish people are just the best. Good time. There's no better like person than an Irish person. Hands down. I you go to Ireland, that. everybody's having a great time. Yeah. Always. They're That's just free balling it, it. That's me. I'm Irish. I'm having a great time. Always. <laughs> Here for it, absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so let's talk about what is your most irrational fear. Oh my god! You go first. My most irrational fear. So like, usually a lot of people say bees, <laughs> or like, like bees. snakes. Bees. I have a very specific one. Oh, oh my! Oh yeah, let's hear like this. really specific. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> my irrational fear is uh, sneezing so hard I knock myself unconscious on my steering wheel while I'm on the highway and I die. That's mine. Oh my god. Well, gosh. it's very specific. It's very irrational. It, it got close once, and then ever since then, it's ingrained in my memory. What do you mean it got oh close gosh. once? I'm a really aggressive sneezer, kind of like a, like, not a dad <laughs> sneeze, but like a grandpa sneeze. You can kind of hear it up three floors. Oh my gosh. And um, I like got, I hit the steering wheel, but I didn't get go unconscious, and then that new fear developed. Got it. Wow. So it's, uh, that runs deep. I'm oh going to say it's the DNA, maybe, um, but yeah. Oh my, I was going to say, like, mine's like falling off a roller coaster. That shit, like, that, that scares the crap out of me. I got stuck me. on I a roller coaster. No. Twice. I swear what? to God. Loop to loop? Uh, not the loop to loop, oh, but I was going to say, that's like so scary. Almost worse, the chair where you go all the way up in the air and you're swinging around in a circle and it shouldn't oh, exist. Oh, yeah. No. At the top. Oh, 12 years no. old. But at least trauma. You're, but it, you're like not upside down. Fair. Yeah. That's valid. That's kind of my... Does anybody remember the Mighty Axe at the Mall of America? Oh, yeah. And how many times that oh got stuck gosh. upside down? Camp Snoopy? I don't know if that... That's <laughs> Go back to Camp Snoopy. That's not actually a, like irrational fear, Riley. But, okay, let's Snoop. hear another one then. 
Another one. Oh, that's not irrational? I, I guess I oh. didn't like it enough for it to be your God. <laughs> oh, I'm getting just absolutely called out. Oh, getting my roasted. God. Wow. An irrational fear of mine. Jeez. Storms? Uh, that's, not, that's not too irrational, though. Category five? Category, category five. Wow. It's a callback. I mean, hell. I got to say something irrational. I think something irrational would be like, like I have like weird dreams sometimes where I'm like working like, like okay. in my dreams, but like absolutely messing up something so bad that like it just like takes down the company. Takes, like, but like takes, I don't know, I don't know. That's that's just like that's takes a super down, sc- yeah, wait, it takes wh- down the company. I don't think we talked about this. Where do you work? Uh, I work at a company called Vista Outdoor. So I. Um, and kind of on the acquisitions and investment side, so the M&A team, if you know anything about that. Mergers and acquisitions. That's right. I'm a <laughs> big uh, finance nerd, essentially. Yes. So, wow. Got some Lots of that. finance wow. nerds. Oh, yeah. So do you just crush Excel all day? Excel is like my best friend. Please send me shortcuts. Oh, Please send me. Oh, I, I don't know how to shortcuts. do a VLOOKUP, and oh, it stresses gosh. me out, and I have the project to do it, and I don't know how to do it. So if you can show me some hotkeys, I mean. Phew. Oh, I have a quick access toolbar at the top. That's it's just, I just run with oh that. God. Oh my what God. What the heck? I feel like you're getting so excited about it. Oh, I, I love so Excel. Cool. I love Excel. I love it. That's like my best thing. That's like my favorite thing ever. I get, you're very passionate, I can tell. Yeah, hell yeah. I think it's okay. Microsoft Office. Shout out to Microsoft Office. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Do okay, you, how much time do you spend in that like application at work every day? How many hours? Oh gosh. How many hours? Yeah. All of them. I'd probably say a good 50% of the time spent in Excel, and I wow. love it. And I love it. Wow, you're you're really it's a lot of intense eye yeah, contact oh, for Excel. Oh, God, do you Excel. crush music when you're doing that? Yeah, sometimes I'll throw in little classical jams, classical? and it kind of gets me in that like Mozart mood where I'm just absolutely vibing, like typing on a keyboard, wow. like I have a piano. Tickling the ivories, but it's tickling the yeah. keyboard. Oh, I hear you. exactly. I just like absolutely love it. Oh, oh, gosh, you sorry. listen to Mozart <laughs> and crush it. How old are you? Uh, 23. Wow. How old are you, by the way? 25. Okay, all right. Who <laughs> Whoa, okay. It's 24 months. No, I know. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Have you guys dated older or younger normally? Older. Older. <gasps> Whoa. How the turntables have turned. Uh, what? Maybe you got to go younger now. <laughs> Can do anything once. Oh, once? Oh. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's just once, okay, right? Okay, so why older then for both of you? I'll, I guess I'll take this one first. Um, I'd say older because, you know, there's a lot more, like, maturity. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they got a lot of stuff together. Not that people my age aren't mature, but, like, I'm, I'm like, the type of guy that likes people who have their, like, you know, shit together. Has a lot of, you know, good qualities about them. Really figure themselves out because by that time, I think you're post, like, college mm-hmm. and long enough to where it's like, okay, I have myself figured out. And, like, I know what I want in my life and I know, like, all everything I'm looking for in the future yeah. and everything. So I think that's that's probably why older. Shit, same. Yeah. Money. I mean, oops. <laughs> Still words right out of my mouth. Uh. Same thing. It's it's hard to meet someone that's kind of on the, I don't want to say caliber because I feel like that sounds rude, but the same like drive oh, yeah, yeah. and initiative. And I, I think you can be 40, you can be 20, and the 20-year-old could have 100 times more drive than the 40-year-old. Age does not describe that. Mm, um, got it. So I think it's just kind of where your head is at, where your maturity level is at, and got that's it. what really matters. Absolutely. Wow. Mm-hmm. So what's right on, like right on cue. too <laughs> immature? Like what quality would be too immature to have? Like you're like, oh, that they're too young for me if they have that characteristic. Oh, you take this one. That's not fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> too young. Uh, their mom still makes their doctor's appointments. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I schedule my own. Proud. Well done. Cheers yeah, to you. Yeah, I know. That's that's a good quality of mine. Uh, <laughs> I'd say what makes someone too young for me is like the uh, just like live for the bar life. Like, yeah. okay, yeah, it's cool. It's fine if you like have you know you just like go to the bar a lot. But if you're just like that is your life, if that becomes your life, and you got nothing else other than the bar, that's kind of like okay, yeah. And it's also you know I was gonna say insurance, but I'm selling my parents' insurance. But like you know, <laughs> okay, me too. We're still rolling on that till 26. Obviously, my dad's insurance is great. He's a pilot. Yeah. Oh, your dad's a pilot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got benefits. Oh my gosh, you got like free like. Trips? Yep, going to Greece this fall, 20% off. Wow. Oh my gosh. I gotta flex it a little bit. Okay, well, <laughs> I actually have to cut it close on this one. We have reached our 10 minutes already. Oh Jeez. I know, That's how quick. fast does that go? So, fast. well, thank you so much, Katrina. Give it up to Katrina. <laughs> All right, and we'll bring up date number two. All right. All right. Hey. 
Yes, we're already on to date number two. And can you pronounce your name for everybody in the crowd? Yes. Evening. It's Saskia. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's, okay. I always wow. say it's like sauce, like tomato sauce, and then keto, like the car. Like put it together. Oh, money. Love that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for breaking it down for us. Okay. <laughs> take it away, Saskia. Okay. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, I heard that you've been to all 50 states. <laughs> yeah. What? So, yeah. <laughs> that's what my friend told me to nominate me. Yeah. Because okay. she knows that I love to travel. So she was like, you're going on this. But <laughs> Okay, so I'm curious what your best state is and what your worst state is and then why. And so I want to see oh, if they line up with mine. Okay, okay. Because wow. I've, been, I've been to all 50, Ooh. but I've been to quite a few. So okay. I have like a good story for each. Perfect. Wow. That's awesome to hear, by the way. Kay. Hopefully you get to 50 soon. Maybe I can be your tour guide on that. We'll see. Heck yeah. Heck but yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say my favorite has got to be Hawaii. And the reason That's there, I, I was there for a month. Yeah. And it was the most like amazing experience. Always like hiking mm -hmm. and surfing and going around and just doing whatever. Like it was amazing. Yeah. And um, I'd say the worst state. This is got to be careful how I say this, but uh, Iowa. <gasps> I know if anyone's from Iowa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I've driven through Iowa like too many times. Yeah. And every single time I drive through Iowa, it's so boring. Yeah. There's something. Oh my there. gosh. Yeah. I haven't no. seen any, someone's got to like bring me to Iowa to have a good time because yeah. I have not had a good time in Iowa. Okay, do we have anybody from Iowa in the crowd that disagrees? We do. Uh oh, I, I'm so sorry, I promise. Oh my god. We, okay, what, okay, I'm gonna turn this back on you. Okay. What is your favorite and least favorite and why? Okay, so my favorite is actually Hawaii too. Oh, so I've been, oh my gosh. I was on Oahu for like two weeks. Nice. And just was there with friends. We had like a 2003 Jeep Wrangler, oh. just like top down, driving you're, you're around the island. You're the Wrangler. Wow. Truly was. I think that's my dream car, but not okay. in Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I go roof down and roof up in the winter. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, for fun. Well. Just yeah, just get for fun. Hit Minnesota, with great, yeah, exactly. awesome. Okay. Um, but I love the hiking. We did like eight different hikes oh just my like gosh. snorkeled with sea turtles gotta ask did you do like it was called coco crater it's like a hike up this like abandoned mm, I didn't railroad do that oh one. you gotta we didn't do that you gotta go back we did like crouching lion was one of my favorites and then like the three peaks hike yeah okay was oh, also super oh, I didn't fun do that one. That was just really? oh my it was gosh intense. yeah the, 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 it's like literally like a foot wide walking along the tops here i was like dude yeah. i'm not touching that we only did the first <laughs> peak but it was like climbing straight up and it, you get like halfway up and you're like, well, I can't go There's down. No, no, yeah, I mean, no, no, no. No. Just you, you already started. It. You might as well just keep going. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay, what about yeah. your worst? My worst is Nebraska. So that really? Was, that's my second worst. That is my second worst. That's yeah. my second worst. Okay. So there's nothing there but corn. But okay, so in high school, I was like on a mission trip coming okay. back. In Nebraska? Had, mission trip to Nebraska? No, it's in Colorado. Oh, I was going to so say, like, like, are you like yeah. harvesting corn or something? Like, what? <laughs> what else would you do? Yeah, so we were in Colorado, like doing forest fire recovery, like super cool. Okay. But then drove back, stayed in Nebraska for a night. Okay. And the church that we were staying with, like their youth group activity, they made us do this thing called couch race, like couch racing, oh. where like they hide a couch somewhere <laughs> in Nebraska. Like, and you what? have to, they give you clues to find it. <laughs> You find this futon and you literally have to carry it back. What? So that's what they do for fun in Nebraska? That's what, I guess so. So I like came home. Couches? I guess so. Oh my so. gosh, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> I came home and I was like, I'm never going back to Nebraska if I can help it. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. But okay. Hawaii was definitely the best. Let's talk about some of the other states. How come you guys have both been to so many? Like, why have you traveled to like all, so many states? Is it just because family travels a lot? You guys like to travel? Um, I like I love hiking, so like yeah, I'm on awesome. a national park kick right now. Love that. Um, so I just did like Zion and Bryce Canyon last year, and then Grand Teton and Yellowstone. So those like hitting as much of the west as I can. But awesome. Yeah. Wow, that is fantastic. I I actually started traveling with my family, so that was my dad has actually been to all 50 states originally, cool. and then he decided he wanted to do the same thing for yeah. his family. So we did that, and I hit all 50 when I was 20. Whoa. And then. Uh, now I'm gonna do the same with my family Sweet. in the future too, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, what about awesome. like that. Indiana? That can't be a sorry. Okay, there's for nothing better. Those that like Indiana, but Elkhart, I. Elkhart, Indiana. Elkhart, Indiana. Write it down. It is the RV okay. capital of the world. Wow. Yeah. That's a place to visit. That's that's what all I got in Indiana. Why would you go there? Like, what's fun about RVs? <laughs> nothing. No, I'm just okay. kidding. RVs are fun. RVs are fun. RVs I, you, are I mean, fun. Like, if you want to go buy an RV, yeah. Elkhart, Indiana. With friends, yeah. With, With my friends. family, I don't know. Yeah. Would you ever travel alone? Um, oh. 
I tried it. I'm like a big Dude. extrovert. Um, wow. So I, my first year out of college, I lived in Madrid for a year. Woohoo! I lived there too. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm yeah. passionate about that. <laughs> like, yeah, it was like my gap year post college, like let's postpone the real world as okay. long as we can type of thing. Um, so I did that. I went to Ireland for like a long weekend oh, by myself. Which Ireland? I gotta go there. It's I've never been there. So fun. I'm Irish. Oh, well, you definitely gotta, I gotta go. So my birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. Okay. And I gotta spend yeah. a St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. Absolutely. They so would like take wanna, you, you in as their own. You okay, let's do it. I Let me know. I, I, I was a tour guide in college, not to flex, but. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> would, I could show you some tour. I would be happy to give you a little tour oh there, gosh. but wow. I would love to go back and just like drive around the country for a week. Awesome. And, and, and you just, would you go by yourself? I don't think I could. Like, I like... It was all right. It was... Okay. okay. I like being with people better because I feel like my favorite travel experiences, like, I remember them by, like, the people that I'm with. How amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, I just... I like going with people, but... Yeah, would rather do that. <laughs> Got it. I, I completely agree with you there. It's like oh, yeah. more fun when you're experiencing with other people and yeah. like you can really like share those memories and fun so times. So, what's on your bucket list of places you need to go to in the world? I just said mine. It's Ireland. What about you? Um, probably Costa Rica. I've heard like Whoa. similar to like Hawaii vibes, like hiking, okay. but also beaches, outdoor, like Pura Vida, chill vibes. Got it. Oh my gosh. Take me to Costa Rica. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go to Costa Rica. Do you guys Rica. like to surf? I'm down. I love surfing. I, I've done it once and I was honestly terrible at it. Yeah, same. But like, it's still fun. Yeah, same. You, you can be bad at things and still have fun. Exactly. I agree. It's fun when you do it with someone that teaches you how, then they give you like a push. Oh, yeah. You feel like you're really good and then you fall. Sometimes you just need those training wheels to get yeah, started. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Just make you look good at it. So. Oh, my gosh. I love yeah. that. That's awesome. Okay, I got a question for you. Okay, okay. You have a an open like weekend morning. Okay. What are you doing with it? Um, I play a lot of volleyball, so okay. I play like a lot of volleyball tournaments with friends. Got it. Um, that's what I do on weekends, or I'll like go to a state park or just like read out on the front porch. Awesome. Or get wow, with you're active. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at like staying still. Like I need activities, but oh, I'm, I'm the like same way. Do you yeah. just like crush Netflix on your couch? On oh, for sure. Well, that's like what weeknights are for, for sure. Oh, weeknights. Yeah. Okay. okay. What about Wednesday nights? Now well, you're here. Now There's I'm no here. Netflix yeah, I know. Tonight. Otherwise, I'd be like watching Bridgerton on the couch. God. So this is so much. Have anyone seen Isn't season this two? Isn't this Any better? Bridgerton fans out there? Yeah. This is better. Yeah. 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 This is better. Oh my this gosh. is more fun. For this sure. is definitely a part of like the activity category. I would say this is yeah. like requires a lot of your brain power, energy, and no, this is super fun. <laughs> it's easy. Okay, so how many like how has your dating experience been in Minneapolis? Oh. We kind of talked about this with Riley yeah, at the I'm beginning. There you go first. You already answered. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> um, I have been in like a couple longer term relationships, so yeah, I'm like newly single in Woo-hoo! Minneapolis. Okay, okay. Yeah, as of okay. like I don't know, like six months ago or so. So okay, I've been on a few hinge dates. I've had like a few funny stories. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Now we, gotta hear we these. might have to we hear, have hear one. Hear okay, <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I hope this guy isn't here. He is. <laughs> he's he's so here bad. and he's listening right oh, now. Oh God. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is just me, but okay. so. We went on a first date. He suggested Can Can Wonderland. Great place. Yeah, I was like, awesome I love activities. Awesome first date spot, by the way. Yes, fantastic. And like, I'm a competitive person. Like, just growing, like playing sports growing up, like became competitive. So, um, yeah, we played mini golf. We played arcade games. Like, yeah, and I was like, okay, I like, I don't know how to feel quite yet, but like, I would like you enough to like give you a second date. So, oh, okay. Like, I Are you don't like know. me enough to give me a second date? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was like, you're pretty, you're, it was going fine. It was going fine. So then we're at the exit, like leaving Can Can Wonderland. And he turns to me and he was like, do you want to get a picture? What? What? On the first date? On the first date. <laughs> we're at <laughs> the you, exit. Like, pull, like a selfie stick or something? No, or like... I wish. That would have been better. <laughs> so we walk back into Can Can Wonderland. And he asked an employee to take a photo and oh. like sets us up. Yeah. So there's a photo. So he sent it to me later. I still have it, so I can show it. If anybody oh, wants to see it, we might need it. My, We're gonna expose this guy right now. And that would be bad. But my eyes in the photo are like, they're like help me eyes. Like, oh, does yeah. he know that? Now I don't he does. know. Now, well, now he, does. he does. Now he does. So, so I. Uh, oh my gosh. Apologies. If you the story. You're a super nice guy, but just a tip. <laughs> On the first day, maybe don't ask for a photo, but um, that is yeah, an awesome. It's a that's funny hilarious. Story at least. Yeah. So you had a good time up until the photo. 
it was like fine. I don't know. I didn't know how to feel, and then that kind of was like, mm, maybe not. Yeah, and I mean, then I there went are home. pictures taken of us tonight. Yeah. Here. So what does that that's mean? true. A first date and there's <laughs> pictures being taken. <laughs> that's true. They're better pictures. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. <laughs> Probably much better. I'm not. My eyes are not. I'm not scared this oh, time. Okay. That's I'm a good not sign. scared right. this All time. Right. Yeah. So. Funny. It was good. It's what about off. yeah? It's already ten minutes. Wow. I know. Oh my Is God. there anything that, my that you want to say before we wrap this date? I'll leave that one to you. It was fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I had a great this time. This was easy. It was really yeah. nice to meet you. Super thank easy. You. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Saskia. You we bet. will bring you back up at the end. Cool. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm 24 years old, and I am born and raised in Minnesota. I will be coming to the Date Night Podcast from a completely different state. I am flying back just to go on this date with Riley. So I'm really hoping it's worth it. I'm so excited to be on the Date Night Podcast because I love new experiences and pushing my comfort zone. And I think that people that are gonna be willing to go on the show probably also share those values. So looking forward to our 10 minutes. It's gonna be fast, but it's gonna be super fun. All right, we are with date number three. Hello, we have Ellie on up here. So take it away, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Hello, thank you. Okay, I will take it away. So, Riley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. A good business handshake. I, thank you. I am in business, but I have a question for you. Right, so, I right. read on your post from the Day Night Podcast that you're well-traveled. Okay. You've been to all 50 states. That's correct. And I would like to know your opinions on Iowa, Kansas, oh, Missouri, oh. Texas, Minnesota, oh my God. all of those. You're just wow. Like this because okay, you're going to have to like relist these no, out. No, okay, 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 okay. I would like to let you know that I just landed in San Antonio like 30 minutes ago and I Ubered here just for this day. You're kidding. No. You're kidding. I she has her suitcase right, right behind, behind me. No way. Right there. No way. Right there. You're so, welcome. <laughs> Give it up for Ellie wow, for literally wow. traveling here. I oh my God. Change pants in an airplane bathroom for you. No wow. way. No way. It's Are you true. serious? It's true. <laughs> is that like a is that like a thing like the change the bathrooms in the Mile High Air Club bathroom thingy? Change uh, pants? I don't know. Is that Air Club or change your pants? <laughs> I don't know. It's one or the other. How did you oh have enough gosh. room? It was a struggle, but. Well, hey, you're here, and I, I appreciate here. that. Thank you for coming. You're so welcome. That is amazing. I'm already traveling. So okay, you asked me, Iowa. I like Iowa? flew this way. It oh, was so like you, a okay, curve. Okay. Iowa, I went through Kansas, Missouri, and to, I don't even know, Oklahoma, Texas. I was in San oh Antonio. Gosh. Well, I'll hit it straight. The uh, middle states mm-hmm. kind of suck. Yeah. Iowa, worst. Yeah. Yep, yeah, hands down. <laughs> um, no offense, everybody. Uh, but I'd say that Texas. I like Texas. Guess what? It was what? raining when I was there, and it's raining here I too. found out from my Uber my hotel was haunted. <gasps> Do you believe in ghosts? No. What? <laughs> what? You're Irish. I, you I don't like believe in ghosts. Oh. Superstitious. I, uh, I'm better than the ghosts. That's why I like. So you, what, you're like, it's a mentality? <laughs> That's not how it works. It's a mentality. See, if you, like, don't think about it, you're not there. Really? Math. Oh, yeah. Math. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about okay speaking of math though so you're like i think what's your job <laughs> i i am in finance if that's what you're wondering because um, i have a confession uh-oh. and you can tell me to leave right away no. oh no oh, oh my god <laughs> i think you might have liked me on hinge and i didn't like <gasps> you back oh! Okay, Listen, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Wow! I saw your profile and you're a finance bro. Yeah, uh, I'm a finance bro. And I was like, nah. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I'm a, I'm a good finance bro. Okay, I promise, I promise. are you sure? Yeah, yeah, okay, but typical, tr- like, this honestly is a very important question. Does it matter what they do at work? I feel like it doesn't, but like your first impression. <laughs> but, but yeah, you I know, I know, but okay, yeah. when you're on Hinge and your first impression is like yeah, yeah, two yeah, things. Okay, okay. It's like your age. Got it. Sex, location, job. Yep. Well, that's four things, not two things. But. Well, math. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh. <laughs> no. so I'm sorry. Okay, no, no worries. Did I'm you worries. know that? You're, Did you remember that? No. 
But here's the thing. You're here tonight. That's true. You flew here. You flew here for somebody. I did. So do you? Okay. Do you live down in Texas then, or what? What's no. The, oh, oh my god. Like, no. No. Do you no, like no, fly no, here no, no. for this? Like. No, I live in Minneapolis, <laughs> okay, but I was just it. there for like less than 24 hours. God. For what? Okay. What? Yeah. Let's say. What are you? What are you doing A down there? A food show. So. Food show. I probably smell like um, dairy products because I sell that. How Midwestern of me. Awesome. Love it. I was working a food show, so I was like scooping out queso on tortilla chips. Oh my gosh. Oh, telling about my promos. Yeah. Okay. So in, in dairy. In dairy. But you judge me for in finance. I know. <laughs> so you can judge me because that's so much. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. No, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. But... <laughs> Yeah, so that's where I was at today. But. Got it. Well, thank you for coming. Of course. I had to. I couldn't miss it. Oh, oh. How was your flight home without a mask? Weird. Weird. And weird? surprisingly, like, very few people were still in masks at the airport. I thought yeah. there would be more that were, like, messed up, but there were not. Yeah, that's, that's like, a whole different... Ch- I mean, think about it. We've been doing this for, like, two years now. I know. Like, post-graduation. It was, what, your senior year of college that, yeah. like, it all got announced. Yeah. I was in Cabo, and it was like, you're not going back to school. And we're like, okay, I was in we'll Florida. take shots. Yeah. Happened. So yeah. were you in uh, Fort Lauderdale or what? No, I was down in uh, the beautiful Marco Island. Uh, you ever been there? No, I have not. Oh, my gosh. It's the best spot. It's my favorite spot besides Hawaii. But, like, my favorite spot to, like, travel with my family. Mm-hmm. One of my roommates is in Hawaii right now. Oh. And another roommate's out there, but... I know oh. you have a big squad of friends out here. I do, I do. I love them to death. But that's They're amazing. Like a, that's a good question that I have. <laughs> okay, because, okay. like, how do you balance friendships and a relationship? Ooh. You can mix them. Here's the thing. You have your relationship on the side, right? And you can, like, you know, spend a night with just you, just like me and you. Mm-hmm. Next night you can go out with your friends, and that can also bring you. And here's the thing. My friends got to approve of you, though. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fair. I I would How agree about you? with okay. I would agree with you. I okay. feel like friendships like you have to balance both. Yep. And honestly, I feel like you should probably put your friends first and they have a better idea of like who you're going to be with. Mm-hmm. Like their opinion of who you're dating matters so much cuz they know you in and out. And I feel yeah. like so many people prioritize a relationship before their friends. Mm-hmm. And it's like you need your friend's opinion first. Right. To understand. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one also, thing. Ellie, can I have you bring your mic up to your mouth just yeah. a little bit is more? Is this better? Yes. Testing? Yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Testing. I was gonna say it's also like I'm looking for like my best friend too. You know. Mm-hmm. So it's a relationship and the best friend in one. That's Ooh. a great answer. I love that. So do you have a best friend that would compete with? Like a <laughs> like your girlfriend like for oh, time. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah. Who out there in the audience? Oh I'm looking. man! Wow. Uh, she would win. Oh. Ooh. Okay, Riley. Yep. I will tell you, I have a really good girlfriend named Riley, and she lives in California. She's probably streaming this on Twitch right Hi, now. Riley. Great name. How are you going to handle that? How am I going to handle her being in Cali? Or, like, her being my best friend. You got to go visit. Ooh, yeah. I was going to say, we go visit. We just bond as Riley's do. You know, okay. That's obviously. fair. That's <laughs> fair. Um, how am I going to handle that? that? My name is Riley, and her name is Riley. Yeah. Mm, we'll just... Are you going to be jealous? Okay. Do you no. have a nickname? You gotta her? come up with a nickname for me. What's my nickname right now? Oh, I, don't, sp- I don't think you go by like Rye Rye. Like, <laughs> what are you drinking? What's this? That's like a. No. Oh, we got something from the, the crowd. The crowd is speaking. Do you Can you an- say it louder, please? I think you said probably water. Oh. oh. Maybe not. Water Do you have a boy? nickname from any of your friends? Do they call you anything special? Oh gosh. Uh, What's your last like your last name? Yeah, you Flanagan. I I, uh, I see your nickname, Irish. Oh yeah, very. Nickname is uh, sometimes our Flan Man. That's, our uh, Flan Man. Yeah, that's it. This is <laughs> our Flan Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're yelling. I can't. Does anybody know what? I sorry. I, I really yelling. wish I could hear, but we'll have to get that for maybe uh, the after okay. show. But <laughs> okay. okay, do you oh have any gosh. nicknames, Ellie? Yeah, what's your nickname? Um, well, my last name is Gerber. Gerber, okay. So it's always Gerbert like or Gerber, 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 like like the, like the baby food, like the baby, like the OG baby. Do you get discounts on the baby food? I should, but I don't have a baby. I don't have any plans <laughs> on that oh. for the future, <laughs> not anytime soon. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, no. No Gerber family I'm... discount. No. 
That's a shame. Okay, but I do have one question since we were talking about Hinge earlier. Uh, yeah. What's like a low key turn off on a Hinge profile? So maybe question. the finance bro is Ooh. Ellie's. <laughs> That's yours. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. I have more answers, but I kind of want to hear yours. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ooh, turn off. I'd say lame prompts. Like lame prompts, like one word answer prompts. Like what do you like? That's fair. Yeah. Do you have your Instagram in your hinge? I don't. There's another. That's a turn off, by the way. Everybody. Really? Instagram I, and hinges because okay, you're I out disagree. there looking for followers. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I feel like good. if you, I, I like if you, you have just, your Instagram okay. in your hinge, it's like you want people to look at it and understand like that's all you're about. Oh. I don't okay. know. Okay, I have another question. <laughs> She's just rattling. <laughs> what off. about the like Visco? This is for Instagram. The Visco mm-hmm. accounts in the private Instagram. Mm-hmm. It's like a tease oh. into. Oh, you can look at my Visco, but you have to follow me for my Instagram. What do you think? I do you do my, that? I had mine and I took it off, but my roommate did that. <laughs> oh. so, so I think there's mixed feelings towards it. Okay, that. okay. That's awesome. Well, I like that you and I like actually disagree on things. Yeah. Like that's cool. I like that you're honest with me and you can right. like tell me that. That's yeah. awesome. Like seriously, if you were to sit here and just like, oh yeah, I agree, I agree. Like that's just like, that's not panic. real. Yeah, it's I want to be this real, real with you always, Riley. Come oh. on. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay. okay. So Visco. Oh. Well, is there anything you want to say before we wrap this date? Because our ten minutes is up. <laughs> Your thoughts on Visco? This is on you. <laughs> yeah, we might need to hear these Visco thoughts. My thoughts quick. on Visco. Um, Honestly, I, I I had a disco like a long time ago. I did. Mm-hmm. And uh, You did? I did, oh yeah, I did. I it like was him I like posting like, like smoking my smoking and for twenty <laughs> light. It I, was that. I uh my disco was like full of like I think it's still open. You can probably find it. Uh it's like it's like travel pictures and stuff, like nothing. Okay, crazy. that that makes sense. But my thoughts on disco on Instagram bios. I don't mind it. You know, like I said, if you're private, it gives me a little sneak peek and kind of mm-hmm. like look through it. And I mean, people look through it. And if they don't, they, yeah. they're lying. Yeah. They say they don't, they're lying. That's fair. <laughs> okay. That's really All fair. Right. Well, we're going to have to say goodbye to you now, Ellie. All um, right. We'll bring you back up here at the end. So everybody give it up for Ellie. <laughs> okay. And we actually do have a little bit of a surprise this evening. So we are bringing up a fourth date that we picked from the crowd tonight. So Jewel, can you come on up here? Give it up for Jewel, everybody. She did not have this planned at all. But before you go, I need you. Yeah. Beep, beep, okay, so hold on, Jewel. Let's have you put those headphones on. Okay. We're still going. All right, everybody. Give it on up for Jewel one more time. One more time. Okay. A fourth fourth date. A fourth date. Yeah. So before we get started, though, Jewel, I want to know what brought you here tonight. So Uh this is my first time actually being here and listening to the podcast. Awesome. Whoa. Welcome. welcome. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I've been eyeing it for a long time. Um, And then somebody said they were looking for a fourth date. And I said, let's fucking go. (laughs) A fourth date. (laughs) Okay. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Okay. I got a question for you. Okay. Go ahead. What made you want to come up here? What made you say yes? Well, here's the thing. You said you were a finance bro and I have (laughs) some pretty good Excel Joe, some may say okay. pickup lines. Okay. Yep. Oh, I love Excel. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 <laughs> I know. I feel oh like Riley God. likes like, Excel like, I don't think more so. than his mom. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. I love him. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Mom. Whoa. That's Sorry. not true, Mom. I promise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the first one okay. is I have a table you can pivot. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Thank you. Love it. Yep. Oh, my gosh. And the second one. Oh, you keep rattling them off? Well, I'll, I got two. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, this one's a little Still. less like Fiji. Um, <laughs> I got a V you can look up. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is, oh my gosh. That gets 10 out of 10. That was a 10, 10 out of 10. Out of 10. That was a 10 out of 10. Straight off the dome. Wow. Whoa. Hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, hi, mom. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Yeah. So, do you use Excel frequently? 
Like, what do you do for work? Now, here's the thing. Uh -oh. um, I should be using Excel more than I am. I okay. mostly use Google to look up what I need to do in Excel. Oh, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, really, yeah. So um, I do events for a venture capital firm. Oh, so, VC firm. Oh, VC man. VC firm. I know. So oh what kind gosh. of events? Um, I do events for the sales team, so oh. to get more like partnerships to awesome. build accelerator programs. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all about Excel. Everything's oh, about Excel. Excel, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay, so, I mean, tell me about yourself. Yeah. What? Ooh, oh, Jesus. Sorry um, to put you on the spot like that. No, that's Where'd okay. Where'd you go to college? How old you are? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so I am 23. Went nice, to. Great age. Yeah, yeah, best yep. age. Uh, went to College of St. Benedict, St. John's University. Oh, no! Roll oh, everyone race. boo! Everybody boo! I'm just kidding. I'm a Tommy. I'm a Tommy. <laughs> Somebody should have told me before I come. Can, I <laughs> can Tommies and Johnnies, like, unite? Is that something that can happen? I guess we're not in the same uh, division anymore, Yeah, because so. we're better than you. Mm. Oh! Oh, you're I'm not just wrong. Kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. continue, continue, sorry. Uh, no, I mean, uh, where do you live now? Yeah. Like where? Um, I live in the North Loop. Oh, oh. So, so did you walk on over here? Yeah, I moseyed on over here after nice. I, you know, shut my computer, shut down Excel. I so is this your auditions. very first time ever coming and hearing about this whole podcast? And she's here. Correct, yep. <gasps> so you just like said yeah. yes? Yeah. 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 So you really have never seen anything like this? Like, mm, no. No, no, no. Wow. So and I came props in really you for saying yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I came Major in really blind. Major props. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Because that, yeah. that's, that's what I'm looking for. Someone who's just like saying yes and going to fun adventures and like, yeah, you, got you just like showed up here, didn't even know, and all of a sudden, boom, you're here. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Did you come to First Draft just with friends thinking that this wasn't even here? No. So <laughs> I did know this was here. Okay. Did you come here as a friend of one of the other contestants? Oh, good question. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was going to say, I was That would have been some juicy stuff, though. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have, that would have. Oh, my God. <laughs> Started some fights. Yeah. But yeah, no. So we came to watch the podcast. Obviously did not know I was going to be taking part of it. All right, that's yeah. all right. Okay, and I got a are. question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Out of all of you and your friends, mm -hmm. which one is the bad influence? Is it you? Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, who, who, who makes you do the crazy shit? <laughs> Myself. And oh, okay. so, yes, so probably. So you are the bad influence. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Love it. I love to get the party going. What about you? <laughs> I, uh, I think I have a pretty bad influence friend. His name is Alex. Okay. He's in the is crowd he here. here. Okay. Oh, so yeah, he's Alex. here. Here's the slayer of Alex. Is he, is he yeah, it? there he is. Right. Bad influence. So me and Alex should you and stay Alex away because otherwise away from each trouble. other. I mean, you guys meet each other. You like each other, you know, but like right. he's my bad influence friend. Yeah. 100%. We all got to have one. And you're the, So you can be my bad influence and replace him because he sucks. Yeah. Oh. Alex, get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So I have. do I have time for a yeah. question? Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, run it. Okay, so if I was the devil, how, what are the five things that I could entice you with to come to the dark side? Oh my Whoa. God. Wow. Yes. I got to think of five things to entice me to okay, go to the dark can, side? Okay, we can bump down to three. Three? Yeah, three. Three, for, three okay. for time. Three for okay. time. Okay, three things that's going to make me want to go over the dark side. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I don't even know yeah. how to answer that. That's like a great question. I'd say. Yeah. It's tough. I mean, hell, if you're influential, you can get me to do things, that'll get me on the dark side. Right? I know. That'll get me there. It's all, like, you can influence me. Like, I'm open to being influenced. No, I'm not just, like, a stubborn mm -hmm. guy that's just, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm stubborn sometimes. But I was going to say, <laughs> I feel like you probably are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little I'm guilty. Uh, but I'd say that, and I'd say if you take me traveling, mm -hmm. uh, that is 100%. Well, you just like bring me somewhere, like oh, second, the dark side, the yep. dark side. I mean, it's easy. There, it's so, so easy to like convince yeah. me. And like, all you gotta do is like, hey, we're traveling, we're gonna have fun, and you're gonna you're gonna like freaking influence me to go there. And then the last thing mm -hmm. I'd say is if you have, I mean, oh man, your mom. Your mom. Oh. Oh. My mom is there. You're, you're gonna. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, yeah. Your mom excel in traveling. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, she answered the point. I was gonna say the last thing is if Excel is accessible. Yeah, okay. I'm joining. It's gotta be. Yeah. Money. All right. Well, everybody give it up. Oh my God. A huge round of Thanks. applause for Jewel. Awesome. She did amazing. So, Jewel, thank you again. We will bring everybody back up here for the final decision. All right. So, we have just wrapped all three dates with Riley.
So we have all the three lovely dates up here to my right and Riley on my left. So Riley, I'm going to give it to you to take away for who you'd like to ask on your second date. All right. Well, I just want to thank you guys all so much for coming out. Seriously, like the, cur the courage and everything it took for you guys to come up here was like so amazing. And I'm so glad you guys said yes and, and I couldn't appreciate you guys anymore. Uh, but for the second date, I would like to ask Jewel on a second date. <laughs> Not only honored but humbled. Thank you. Oh, I, all right, all right. All right. So okay, what do you say? Well, thank you so much for everybody for coming out to first draft tonight. We'll see you next week for our season finale, episode uh, 10. What's the answer? What's the answer? <laughs> I wrote, sure thing, chicken wings. All right.